Hey, you. Pretty lady, one glass of champagne. A uh, no. Come on. Uh, Jay, you're underage. And that is So, we just returned triumphant from a raid on the armory of the king himself. <laughs> I deserve a glass of champagne. You're still underage, and it's still illegal. He's joking. I am not. Fine, just get me some lemonade. A toast, if I may. Everyone, let's raise a glass. Yeah. Let's give it up for the foxes. Yeah. We are the mightiest gang the world has ever seen. Yeah. Nice yeah. bow before us. Pretty damsels fall at their feet. Kings cower in their castle. Would you shut up and sit down? If you keep talking about gangs, there's a significant chance you're going to get all of us arrested or killed. Well, that wouldn't be anything new, would it? What I want to know, Jay, is why you're acting drunk when you haven't had anything to drink. What? Is Jay drunk? Jay, you shouldn't get drunk. It's very bad for your health, you know. Dakota, tell them about it is for your health. It rots your brain. <laughs> well, alcohol can travel to the brain and affect the rate of communication between neurotransmitters. Further alcohol can cause shrinkage of your brain cells. There'd have to be some brain cells there to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> you just got there. Come on, I'm not drunk. Give it back. We're going home. No lemonade for you. What? Oh, please, Sierra, I want lemonade. No. Let's go. Oh, come on, Sierra. We did good today. We disabled almost all of the weapons in the king's armory. Jay stole some pants. Belts. It was definitely just a belt. I no, had to pick a lot. Whatever. Regardless, rewarding good behavior can improve a person's mental stability and affect their opinions of themselves and their actions. It can also relax an individual after an exhausting task and ensure further good behavior in the future. We deserve a little fun, and so do you. No. I don't think Sierra truly understands the definition of the single word syllable fun. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. When you've been living on your own, you get lonely sometimes. When you've been feeling all alone, you get tired of the fight. Oh, yeah. Left and mocked and scorned, and it's hard to push on. But just wait, because your time will come. You can prove them all wrong. Look here now, I must confess. We're not your normal game. We aren't ranked the best. But it's true, the test. I tell you, can't stress enough. The battle's even put the over, will not rest. So, hey, to the king with his fancy crown. What? what? See the mother gonna break him down. What? what? In the eyes, no, without a doubt. We will not bow down. We're not just gonna sit here and look away where the fox is and we're here to stay. We're not just gonna stand here and hold our ground where the fox is and we run this town. I think fun for an orphan on the street with no cash to their name. No one wants to steal just so they can eat, live, and hide ain't a game. We won't hide, we won't cow, if grandma says we are here, we're alive. Tell the king that he better say his prayers, we were made to survive. And we won't take it slow. No. We ain't just for show. show. Fighting on our own oh. is the way we know. No. You can't stop us fighting. fighting. We will not be frightened. frightened. We gon' strike like lightning. lightning. Cause we gotta fight to win. And, and we're not just gonna sit here and look away where the fox is and we're here to stay. We're not just gonna sit here and hold our ground where the fox is and we run this town. be done but when i say we're gonna win this battle i've gotta believe we can i try to lead but i feel like i'm helpless we have to scream out just so we are heard but something happens when we raise our voices gotta believe we can i've gotta believe we can
riding on our own. Oh, is the way to go. No, we will not be beaten. Beaten. We will have our freedom. Freedom. Every single season. Season. We will fight to make things right. And we're not just gonna sit here and look away. Where the foxes and we're here to stay. We're not just gonna stand here and hold our ground. Where the foxes and we run this and we run this. Am I interrupting something? No, not at all. You are, actually, but none of us really mind, except for Sierra. I do not. You do. Who are you? Me, no one important. Well, can you take your unimportant ass somewhere else? Sierra. Language. <laughs> What's your name? Indy. Indy? Like the country. Which country, sorry? Oh, you know, Indy with the rice and the elephants. I think you're talking about India. Well, it's officially called the Republic of India. It just out of the Asian mainland, shaped like an upside down triangle, and it is the seventh largest country by land area. <sighs> Thanks for the geography uh, lesson, but I might give this conversation a pass. Look what you went and did. You made the girl go sit over there. I was about to win a robot. <laughs> you totally were. No, you weren't. Uh, yes, I was. Uh, who are you going to believe, the person who's best at reading body language or the hyperactive kid who makes us chicken soup on a cold day? Evening. What are you doing here, Indy? I'm drinking coffee. What are you doing in town? Um, I'm pretty sure that's my business. And what if it's not? No, I'm fairly certain it is. I'm the leader of the foxes. <laughs> These guys? Good for you. And if anything threatens us, I will take it down by force, breaking many bones, lots of pain. Good. Well, you do that while I finish the coffee I came here for alone <laughs> <laughs> and leave you to your lovely singing. Why? Oh my gosh, Please. Sierra. <laughs> By order of His Royal Majesty Charles Theodore Robert Gregory, uh, under the Queen's. Oh, all right, I'll get on with it. Uh, uh, it is henceforth forbidden for any citizen to supply, aid, or assist any member connected to a gang as formally defined by... Uh, uh, uh. All right, they've cut off our supplies. Sorry, um, what? But that, that's not going to affect us, right? I wouldn't be so sure about that. You're really going to listen to him? Turn us out? It's a direct order. What are we meant to do now? Where are we meant to go? Exactly. Hey, Jay, that's enough. We can't expect Joe to break any more laws for us. Everyone out, we're going home. But Sierra... Out. Wait. What? Where's Indy? Who? The girl who was with us, where is she? I don't know and don't care. I care. She might be in trouble. Let's go. 